nine-year-old son had uh, Lyme disease. My father had it this year. My mother's had it. It is so common right now. This yeah. one can also carry dangerous diseases. You better believe it. And and it, you just briefly, Borreliosis. You can get Lyme disease. You can get Powassa. There's all kinds of gnarly things that can happen when you have tick-borne illness. And basically, what's really scary about this is that a single female can, without mating, produce about 2,000 eggs. While most people were at home enjoying the holiday, tons of articles exploded the internet about the threat. Nationwide alert. That's right, an invasion of an Asian tick threatening the US. The thing is, is the CDC already warned us of this. Did you hear the warning? It gets worse. New York Post says there's no getting rid of them. And some of you guys are thinking, well, shoot, a tick? Yeah, I could probably just flick it off not these ones. You see the size of those things? Most of you are gonna need glasses to see these things. Already taken out tons of cattle. Many people worrying where this is gonna go. I've got maps of the US of where the problem areas are. I've also got maps of the projection of where it will be. More important information you guys should be aware of coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Now, when it comes to topics of blood-borne illnesses, Lyme disease, other crazy ones, we think of things that could spread something like that. Mosquitoes, well, the other one are ticks. And for any of you in wooded areas, grasslands, or spend a lot of time in the mountains like I do, you know a thing or two about ticks and you do not want anything to do with ticks. They're one of those things that just give you that creepy crawling feeling, makes you wanna crawl out of your skin. So like I said, new articles emerging all over the place because this thing, is on the rise over the holiday season. Not really on mainstream media, but they did put out on a news article just on November 3rd, kind of giving you an idea of the level of importance of this thing. So let's quickly hear what they said then, and then I'll give you the update and the maps so you guys are aware of where this is happening. Because we have a new problem, hi Dr. Mike, um, with a new tick that was just found in our area a year ago, and it is spreading quickly. What's this? Right. Longhorn, Asian longhorn tick. And basically what's really scary about this is that a single female can without mating produce about 2,000 eggs and in countries where this is very prevalent it's killing cattle and it's a big problem nothing keeps me up more than tick-borne illness and uh, you can say what you want on either side about global warming but climate change in my humble opinion is causing things like tick-borne illness to be a major nightmare did you hear that without mating they can produce 2,000 eggs. You see the size of these little things? Can you imagine what the problem is when they say this is getting out of control? Uh, you can say what you want on either side about global warming, but climate change, in my humble opinion, is causing things like tick-borne illness to be a major nightmare. Everyone in my family's had it. My uh, nine-year-old son had uh, Lyme disease. My father had it this year. My mother's had it. It is so common right now. This yeah. one can also carry dangerous diseases. Now, I know in some parts of the U.S., you guys have heard of Lyme disease. Back in the day, it used to be a pretty bad thing that you would rarely hear someone would get, and it's a very serious disease. But have you heard that Lyme disease is on the up and up, like in a big way these days? And these ticks here are bound to carry all kinds of crazy stuff, which comes with the speculation of what could these things be carrying? You better believe it. And and it, you just briefly, Borreliosis, you can get Lyme disease, you can get Powassa. There's all kinds of gnarly things that can happen when you have tick-borne illness. And we live in a wooded area. It scares the bejeebies out of it. You have a lot of cases in your practice. Oh, so, every uh, summer. So what do we do? Does the winter help? Well, what I'm doing for my kids is I'm buying permethrin treated clothing that's uh, clothing that has this chemical in it and it will prevent the ticks from uh, hopefully from uh, biting them the other thing is when you get out of the woods or even in your backyard take your clothes and put them in the dryer and heat them for about 10 minutes inspect the kids beds. inspect the kids make them get a shower right after they come in okay thank you okay for some of you out there i know you're thinking what i'm thinking buying clothing with a chemical in it to deflect the ticks 
Big red flag for me. I would want to know more about the chemical that you're about re ready to wear all over your skin, where your skin can absorb. I want to make sure that that chemical is an okay chemical because I would say most chemicals are not okay. Definitely would want to double check that one. The one thing he did say is inspect the kids, inspect your clothing. This is something that we do on a regular basis. When we go out to the hills, we go hunting, we go do whatever we're going to do out in the out in the recreational areas of the grasslands or the forest, we come back, we check our clothes, you strip down, you definitely look over your body, make sure there's no ticks crawling on you. If you've been out there for a while, they may have started burrowing in, but I would say more times than not, you're gonna catch them crawling first. So taking a shower like that, also very key. But what's the big new buzz that's been happening just over the last couple of days? This article from Sun Up Tribune that just came out, nationwide alert, invasive Asian tick threatens the US livestock. Now, like I said, fastly growing. What did they say? The United States agricultural community is facing a growing threat that could have severe implications for the nation's livestock industry. Like we didn't have enough problems already, right? Other people might presume, is this another attack on our natural food supply? I just saw in popular reports, I think yesterday, they killed off a ton of poultry right after Christmas, again. An invasive species known as the Asian longhorn tick has been rapidly expanding its presence across the country. This tiny yet formidable pest poses a serious risk to animals with the potential to cause significant harm to the cattle population. Like I said, just what we need is another attack on our meat industry that comes from actual real farms. Now this was first identified in the US in 2017. The Asian longhorn tick has since been reported in 19 states. The speed at which this tick has spread is alarming and indicates an urgent need for effective control measures. The tick's ability to reproduce asexually allows a female to lay up to 2,000 eggs without mating, leading to explosive population growth in infested areas. This is crazy because this can be something that gets way out of control. And I've already read, they have no way of maintaining this, controlling this. If it gets out of control, it gets out of control. And the big question is, like Lyme disease and some of these other ones, will the stuff be able to cross over to humans? Before I show you these maps, let's get a little bit more information. The impact of these ticks on livestock cannot be overstated. There have been reports of cattle being swarmed by these parasites, suffering tens of thousands of bites and ultimately dying from exhaustion. Being drained of blood doesn't sound good. Such incidents underscore the tick's nickname as the cow killing tick and highlight the dire consequences of its proliferation. There's a lot to go around. You won't believe how many they picked up in 90 minutes. Despite their diminutive size, comparable to a sesame seed, a sesame seed, you guys know how big a sesame seed, that is a small creature that can cause some harm. These ticks can form massive colonies swiftly. Researchers from Ohio State University collected nearly 10,000 ticks in just 90 minutes from a 25-acre pasture, estimating over a million ticks could be present in the entire field. No other tick species in North America is known to populate at such an astonishing rate. I know some of you guys are thinking, yet again, another thing that's coming from Asia that poses a big threat. Now let me pause and give you guys a second to give me your two cents down in the comments on that. What do you think's going on here? So let's see if we can get anything definite from the CDC. According to the CDC, the Asian longhorn tick has been found on both animals and people, but thankfully seems to prefer animals hosts over people. So they're finding them on people and livestock. Check. The CDC also said that the invasive tick is unlikely to contribute to the spread of Lyme disease. Unlikely. Sounds like a big question and possible. However, the tick has the ability to carry and spread certain diseases should they come in contact with them. And there we go. These ticks come in contact with something, they're able to carry it in the midst of their infestation across the US. It says, interestingly, they haven't had any human illnesses in Austria and New Zealand, apparently where this is happening also. So the fact that humans haven't got anything, it's interesting that they haven't. The CDC said research is ongoing. And I read it in a couple other articles and they said they just don't have enough research on this to give us a lot of good information 
information. So everything's still kind of undergoing. This is all still really new. They're trying to learn more about the tick's persuasiveness and potential risk to both livestock and people. In quotes, it's possible that the Asian longhorn tick found here won't carry the same types of pathogens or pathogens as other parts of the world. But we are paying attention to it, said Mark J. Solowski, PhD professor of medicine at John Hopkins Medicine. So as you can see, it's a big concern and it's blowing up. Let's take a look at the maps real quick. All right, for starters, this is what the tick looks like. That's an Asian longhorn tick. And this is on nationalgeographic.com. The new exotic tick spreading through Eastern US. So let's take a look at this map. This is the potential Asian longhorn tick range in North America currently. As you can see, this darker area is the high volume type areas. You can see it's kind of more of the, on the eastern side of the US. We've also got it over here in Washington, Oregon, California, a little bit in Idaho, and there's some sporadic spots down through Mexico as well. So if you're in those areas, I would be on extra high alert. Keep your eyes out open because these things can be in one area and then be infested in another area very close in proximity in a matter of days. Another important map that we should probably look at is their projection of where this is going. All right, so this one's from Entomology Today. Potential range for Asian longhorn tick covers much of the eastern U.S. As you can see, this is the potential range. It's quite a bit bigger than the map I just showed you. That dark red is the high area and then goes down to the unsuitable range of white. But you can also see over there in the northwest, they've got a projection of it kind of creeping up. But they're in the Midwest area and the Mideastern area. It looks like it's projected to really get going. Hopefully those maps give you kind of some awareness of if you should be on high alert. If you're in the city limits, if you're in, you know, rural areas, you'll know to pay more attention. But the fact that these little creatures are so small and can expand so fast and can carry viruses and illnesses and transmit that type of stuff, I had to chalk this up to definitely aware of the public. Again, let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Share this information out if you find it valuable and think other people should know about it. And if you haven't seen this video right here, another big awareness type of video. Until next time, and as I know more, I'll keep you guys posted. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.